Today, we're going to be taking a look at what's in my tech bag. My bag of choice is the HP Pavilion Tech Backpack. This backpack is on sale on HP's website at $59.99. However, I did manage to pick this one up on Amazon for $29.99. The bag itself is very well built and is a waterproof fabric. Uh, however, we do get a little bit of water ingress around the zips, which I found out the hard way uh, just the other day. If you're going to spend a lot of time in wet weather, might well be an idea to get one of those waterproof bag covers. Uh, taking a look around the bag, there is a large carry handle on the front. On the side here, we've got a zipper pocket and a, a compression strap. The straps of the backpack are fairly nice and padded, as well as the, the bit that rests against the back itself. There is a, a, a chest strap as well. I'm taking a look at the other side of the bag, there is a water bottle holder and another compression strap. The bag also has two pockets, one here and one in the lid here. Taking a closer look at the bag, there is two main compartments. The back compartment fully opens like a clamshell design and upon doing so you can see in this half here we've got a grommet here which allows you to put power cable through from a power bank and charge any devices you might have in the back here. So we'll start in the back. Uh, here I have my Samsung tablet. Okay, nothing too special here. I don't use this very much if I'm honest, uh, although I do use it for a sat-nav if I'm ever in a higher car that doesn't have one. Also in here I have a small uh, cheap stand that I got off Wish for the Samsung tablet. Looking at the other side of the bag here, you have a Velcro retaining strap. And in here I have my, this is my work laptop. Um, this is a Lenovo ThinkPad, not sure what model. Um, but this is what I get issued with for work. Uh, it's quite a heavy laptop, but this bag is so light um, It kind of compensates for that Okay, taking a look at the other compartments on the bag this main zipper uh, Here at the front. I've got nothing in here at the moment. But this is an RFID protected pocket So if you have your credit cards or whatever in here, you'll be protected going through crowds No one's gonna uh, skim your card for the details uh, next pocket on the front of the bag here, I just have a few things. I have a phone mount for a car. This uh, clips into the air vent and I'll hold my phone. Um, I do use higher cars quite a lot for work, so connecting my personal phone and my work phone to the Bluetooth and being able to see who's calling me, that's great. Uh, I have a cereal bar in there and just some a pen and a Sharpie. Opening up the main compartment of the bag, I'm just going to pull the items out and we'll go into the items in more detail. I just want to show you the inside of the bag. Here's the other side of that grommet for your charge cable. Let's pull these items out. You can see that the inside of the bag is orange. And with most tech items being black or dark in colour, it does make finding things quite easy. In the bottom of the bag here we have a net pocket uh, for easy storage. Again here we have another net pocket with some organising straps and a couple of pen pockets here as well. Uh, going back to the outside of the bag, this zipper pocket which zips down two sides. Uh, in here I have the charger for my work laptop. This pocket also has a grommet here for a, a charge cable from the inside of the bag. Going back around to the other side of the bag, that water bottle holder in here, I do have an umbrella. It's not cool, it's not trendy, but I do live in Scotland, so it rains a lot. Oh, it's important to keep it nice and dry when out and about. And that's about it for the bag. Let's have a closer look at the items I carry. Okay, here's the items that you've seen already that I've pulled out the bag while we were having a look at the bag itself. Uh, the Lenovo laptop is a Lenovo L460, would not be my choice of laptop at all, but it's what I get issued uh, from work. It's incredibly slow and not really fit for purpose, but hey, what can you do? 
Okay, taking a closer look at uh, some of the items that I pulled out of the bag while I was showing you the main compartment. This is the main bag that's in there and this is uh, my cable and accessories bag. So we'll just open it up and take a closer look. So in here I've got a few different things. Um, we'll start at the top here. This is a USB to car cigarette, you know, 12 volt adapter. I've already said I use higher cars a lot than don't all have USB ports, so that's nice to have. Here I have an encrypted USB stick. Um, the company or the charity actually that I work for is uh, quite hot on data security so we need to use encrypted USB sticks. In fact a USB stick that's not encrypted is just not recognized by our systems. Uh, two AA batteries, always handy to have. Uh, my daily phone is the Google Pixel 3 so I have here the USB-C to 3.5mm headphone jack there. I also have the USB-C to USB-A on-the-go adapter that came with the phone. And the only other item in this little pocket here is uh, a SIM ejection tool. You know, everyone knows you're a bit of a techie at work, so this sort of thing just comes in handy when people need that little bit of tech support with their phone. Here I have a USB Type-A to USB Type-C, nice braided cable. Okay, that's a little bit tight to get out of there. Sorry, it out. There we go. This is a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable. It's quite a long one. I think it's about two meters long. Here, kind of for the same reason as the SIM ejection tool. Everyone knows I'm a techie at work, so often tech support is is what I get asked for. So I just have a um, a Cat 5e cable there. Next I have a HDMI, full size HDMI to full size HDMI cable, it's a nice braided one. Uh, this will make more sense in a moment. Uh, next I do have a shorter uh, 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable. The 2 meter one is just a wee bit too long if you're in an airport or on a train or something like that. It's great for when you're in your hotel room, but uh, this one much better for when, when I'm actually traveling. Here I have a 3.5mm headphone splitter for the rare occasion that I'm travelling with someone else. They might want to watch and listen to whatever I'm lo looking at. Uh, here we have a micro USB to USB type A. Uh, this is for my work phone. That's what that uses. I have a Samsung Galaxy J5 as my work phone. In this pocket down here I have a USB Type-C uh, breakout, so this has USB Type-C for charging, HDMI out and full size uh, USB-A out. Uh, that will make more sense in a minute, you might have seen what that's for when I was pulling things out the bag, we'll come back to that. And here this is for my work laptop, so this is uh, display port to DVI HDMI and VGA. The laptop itself only has VGA and I find a lot of places where I'm traveling and using TVs or laptops VGA is starting to disappear in favor of HDMI uh, so this is quite handy to have and also that HDMI cable I have can be used in conjunction with that. Uh, that's it for this side of the bag so we'll open up for the second side. In this top pocket here, I have this uh, 20,000 milliamp hour anchor power supply. This can be charged using lightning cable or micro USB and has two full size USB A outputs. Um, I did buy this when I used to have an iPhone, um, so the, the charging via lightning was, was, was much uh, you know more handy then, but I can still charge this using the uh, micro USB uh, port there. Uh, other things I have, well this kind of gives the game away a bit for what some of these accessories are for. Uh, the Joy-Con holder for my Nintendo Switch. 
in here I also have uh, the charger for my smartwatch. I often wear the Samsung Galaxy S2 smartwatch. Uh, I did almost buy the S3, but I've got quite small wrists and the S3 was just a little bit too big, so I went for the S2. Uh, other things I have in here is a Logitech wireless mouse, just the most basic model they do. It's quite small, um, but great for traveling. In here I have the headphone. Uh, I have a pair of standard cheap headphones. Uh, they do nicely while traveling. Uh, this is quite a cool product. Uh, I live in the UK and the plugs that we have in the UK, here's an example here, they're, they're quite bulky um, and they can be quite difficult to pack. This one is quite difficult to pack in this bag and takes up a lot of room. Well, I've got this in my hand, I'll cover what this is for. This is uh, to power my USB charge hub. Often in hotel rooms, there is just not enough plug sockets to charge everything I want to charge. So having something like this um, is, is very handy. Uh, but back to this thing, this is actually the world's flattest UK plug. So on this side we've got two USB ports and how this works is the sides open up and the prongs twist around and we get a full size UK plug. Now these aren't cheap. I came across this in Heathrow Airport in the Curry's PC world there and this was £20 for this. I will link everything uh, down in the description for uh, Amazon affiliate links. Unfortunately, I can't find this one. I can only find the one with the one USB port and it is the same price. Um, I'll have a, I'll have another look and if I can find the one with the two USB ports, I'll link below. But this is, uh, yeah, very handy, very handy device. Okay, next here we have a pair of headphones in a, a hard case. Uh, these are nothing special. Uh, they are noise cancelling headphones, so great if you're on public transport. These are Philips headphones. I'll get the model number for you just now. These are the Philips SHB8750NC. So a nice, easy um, model number there. These are uh, very comfortable on-ear headphones. Uh, I have no complaints about these. They are Bluetooth, but you can plug the 3.5 millimeter cable in there as well. We've kind of already given this one away, but again, in a hard shell is my Nintendo Switch. This is a relatively new thing to me, um, and I am loving it. Uh, in the top here, we have a small 4,000 4, milliamp hour battery bank. I'm not sure how much juice this would actually give to the Nintendo Switch, but it's there. It might give me a little extra gameplay out and about. Again, I have a USB-C cable that I've always been lazy when putting away last. Um, and then I have the Joy-Con uh, straps there as well and then the Nintendo Switch itself which is held in by these little elastic cords currently have Zelda Breath of the Wild playing at the moment I've also have got Super Mario Odyssey uh, 1 2 Switch and Roller Coaster Tycoon bit of a blast from the past on that one but I couldn't resist Okay, something else that's not really uh, tech related, it is this ultra compact 10 litre bag that I carry. Uh, here in Scotland, and in fact in the rest of the UK, we get charged for the use of plastic carrier bags. So if I'm out and about and I'm picking up some uh, something from the shop, uh, rather than having to pay 5p for a bag every time, or remember to take the one that I've already paid for that I never do, uh, I just put this in the bag and yeah, use this to carry my groceries home. There's not much room in my tech bag after I put all this stuff in, uh, so something small and compact like this is great. This is from uh, Decathlon here in the UK, and I think it was something like £1.50, so I can't really complain at that. Another item I here, have here uh, is a Petzl headlight. Now this is something that most people wouldn't carry in their tech bag, but the job I do, I end up on event sites quite a lot and often it's at night time. So I just, I do carry this and having a torch is, is not a bad thing to have. Um, this is kind of a cool one. This is three Petzl products rolled together. This is the, uh, the Petzl case that you buy separately. And what this allows you to do is hang the uh, torch up and use it as a lantern. I'm not going to turn it on because it will white out the camera, um, but this is kind of a diffuser on this part of the case here. And yeah, you can hang that up and it'll act as a lantern. Uh, on opening up the case, you can see we've got room down here for some spare batteries. They're actually the batteries that come with it that I've not used yet. 
Sepetiltika Actic headlamp. I will do a, a better review on this at some point because it is a very good headlight. It's got various different settings. But the other product that I've got here is the uh, Petzl Core battery. This is a USB rechargeable um, battery pack for the headlight. So again, not something that everyone's going to carry in their tech bag, but it's very helpful for me. Okay, the last item in the bag is this Maxpedition pouch. Now again, this isn't what you will see in most people's tech bags, but this is my daily carry bag. And as I've already said, I do spend a lot of time traveling in hotels and at event sites, which might explain why I've got some of the things in here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail of what I actually do for work because I do want to keep my work and my YouTube channel separate. Um, but you might be questioning why I have some of the things, but uh, these do come in handy for my work. So, opening up the uh, the bag here, I've got a few things. We'll start on this side. Uh, and this is a, a pair of uh, tweezers. Um, they're just always handy, especially, as I said earlier, people know you're a tech guy. They want you to fix their devices for them when you're out and about. A pair of tweezers is never going to go wrong. Uh, here I have a small, uh, a small torch or flashlight. This is incredibly bright for the size of it and this was just an ebay cheapy i'll see if i can find a link for it and leave it in the description here we have this tool from stanley what this is it's a phillips a larger phillips head on this side and a large flat head and then on the other end there's a smaller phillips and a smaller flathead screwdriver. It's kind of a lot of functionality in such a small, such a small item. Oh, that's quite nice. Got another Sharpie, full size one this time in red, and just a standard big ballpoint pen. I do have a, a length of paracord. I'm not sure how long this is. Uh, this has actually come in handy a few times. And two cheap glow sticks. That's it for that side. Uh, this is Gore-Tex tape. So again, I said that I live in Scotland and I spend a lot of time at events. So I spend a lot of time getting rained on. So this Gore-Tex tape is for patching up uh, tents, waterproof clothing, or pretty much anything really that you want to stop the water getting into. It's not the cheapest stuff in the world, but it, uh, it is good. Next up here, I've got a Leatherman Wave multi-tool. I might well do a review on this separately. A very nice, very nice multi-tool. Not the cheapest thing in the world, but very nice. Uh, this next thing is kind of a bit random. Um, if I can get out. This is what's called a Silcock key. And this gives you access to uh, things like water faucets or opening train windows and doors and things like that that they don't want the public to generally have access to. Um, or like opening gas meters and things like that. So yeah, I've got to admit I've never actually used it, but I feel like it's one of those things that might come in handy at some point and it weighs nothing. Uh, cable ties. Yeah, a thousand uses for those. I've got a small amount of electrician's tape wrapped around a, a Go Outdoors uh, key fob. Uh, these are small soap leaves. So these dissolve as soon as you put them in water and kind of lather up as soap. They're very thin. Uh, I think there's about 50 in there. Again, lots of event sites, a lot of portal loos, things like that. So they come in nice and handy. These are some Fiskars foldable scissors. Now it's always nice to have a, a pair of dedicated scissors. There is a pair of scissors on the Leatherman Wave, um, but just to have a pair of dedicated scissors can come in very handy. Uh, Compede. I spend most of my time at events in boots, so uh, blisters and so on, so Compede. Uh, a pair of nitrile gloves, very handy to have. Uh, this is just various medications and stuff to look after myself when I'm out and about or to look after colleagues. And there's a few last items in here. Uh, that's some aspirin that should be in that bag. 
Uh, this is a tick remover. Again, lots of event sites and so on. So some tick removers from Life System. And just some plasters or some band-aids if you're in the States. And that is all. And there we have it guys, the contents of my tech bag. If you found this video helpful or entertaining at all, please be sure to subscribe. Subscriptions really do help me out. Uh, please also consider liking and commenting. Thanks for watching.